Loving someone can be difficult if you feel like you're giving more than you're getting. That's because there are different types of love. You might be giving wholehearted love to someone who just wants to love casually. <laughs> and that can hurt. So to help avoid that heartbreak, watch for these signs they're just looking for casual love, not committed love. Goldfish treatment. If your partner has the memory of a goldfish, forgetting plans, conversations, and even your birthday, well, it might not be the end of the world, but it could be a sign of emotional nonchalance. They can show that they care, but it's not to the point where they go all out and make you feel like royalty. If you're looking for someone who cares for you, like how BTS fans treat their merch, we suggest you keep your heart open for what you truly deserve. Time for time's sake. Do they devote time to be with you, but it's always spent on lighthearted or purely sexual activities that don't actually deepen your relationship? Casual dating is usually a way to temporarily fill in gaps between serious relationships. According to sex and dating coach, Maisha Battle, MS, a lot of her clients casually date someone until someone presents themselves to be a viable long-term partner. If you are constantly feeling hurt or bothered by this type of treatment, then a more serious relationship is most likely what you want. Solo gaming. Jenny from Blackpink says, I'm going solo, low, 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 low. But if your partner does this, it can make you feel a low, 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 lone. That joke aside, if your partner is highly independent to the point where they don't ask for your input regarding major life decisions, sad news ahead. They don't want you involved that much. Any decision that can impact a relationship calls for mutual respect and consultation. If they're absolutely serious, they would at least consult you to know how you feel so you can make these important decisions together. Avoidant attachment style. If they're not only a little distant from you, but also from their friends and loved ones too, they likely have an avoidant attachment style. Pamela Lee, author and specialist on parenting styles and child development, writes that people tend to avoid emotional and physical intimacy when they formed an insecure attachment style, most often caused by a lack of care from their adult figures during childhood. They tend to grow up and have difficulty trusting and getting too close to others. Before we continue, please don't forget to leave a like on this video to show your support. Next, we have Schrodinger's label. Schrodinger's cat is a famous thought experiment that illustrates a paradox of a cat being simultaneously dead and alive. If your relationship sounds a lot like that, then a confrontation and even an apology may be in order. Someone who wants to have things casual may resort to evasiveness to avoid any sort of serious commitment. They're not really interested in forming a long-term bond, so they dodge questions about what your label is, what your plans are, and such. To clarify any misunderstanding, don't be afraid to ask direct questions. There's nothing wrong with dating casually if you're both on the same page. Roller coaster ride. Are they giving you more mixed signals than a dance dance revolution game? Fluctuating emotions usually show internal conflict. If you're not sure how they feel about you, it's likely because they're unsure as well. Their emotional inconsistency may leave you confused and drained no matter how committed or sure you are of your feelings. That's why self-assurance, worth, and validation are important. When they're ready to commit, they will, but it will be on their terms, just like how your happiness is in yours. You can click on six signs a breakup might be good for you to know more. Thanks for watching. See you next time. And remember, you matter. We're releasing our first book filled with fun psychology that we couldn't fit into just a video. Available wherever you buy books and on Amazon. Check the description to find out how to pre-order.